When I first started with my gangs, and I was 12 years old, we took over the, tr the drug trade. We took it over, you know, me and my gang. I have a bullet that was lodged here, one here. I have the bullet that penetrated, broke my two ribs, came out. I have a bullet in my arm, behind here, and across my neck. Police have allayed fears of a fifth attempt on gang leader Vince Foccarelli's life, arresting him on drug charges and keeping him in custody. After surviving the fourth attempt on his life, frustrating police. He doesn't want any support from police uh, at this stage. And uh, so there's very little we can do without his cooperation. Vince Boccarelli may be a marked man. The son of a bikey leader has been killed and his father wounded in a shooting in Adelaide overnight. Satu daripada enam percubaan membunuhnya telah meragut nyawa anak tirinya, Giovanni. Ini telah memberi impak besar dalam perubahan hidupnya. As soon as Johnny came to the front, I sit down, he shot Johnny and I put him into the car and the assassin shot me boom, 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 four times. Drove the car as fast as I could, Johnny's door shut uh, and I remember spitting blood. And uh, his green eyes were lifeless when I saw the bubbles going to the mouth. I thought, so what I did, I said, La ilaha illallah for me and I asked Allah, Excuse me. I asked Allah to accept my la ilaha illallah for him because he couldn't say it and he didn't say it. So I would ask Allah to accept his la ilaha illallah. And uh, so they arrest me and threw me into prison. The hardest part for me, watching my son's janaza, you know, the funeral on TV, everything was numb. But to watch his janaza on TV in a prison cell and not be part of it I've never seen Giovanni ever ever speak a bad word or stamp his feet or fold his arm towards his mother this is the level of love respect honor and appreciation this young man had for his mother but I've never met anyone so loyal so disciplined and so fearless remember he died protecting his father I was very privileged to be part of his life. I want to say, unfortunately, my stepson Johnny was with me, but I'm going to say, fortunately, he was there because Allah chose him to be there at that time. Islam ibarat cahaya yang menariknya keluar dari kegelapan dan telah mengubah hidupnya. Um, Allah chose me at the time he felt was appropriate for me. We were doing criminal stuff, we were intoxicated by drugs and alcohol, and they started talking about Rasulullah Wasallam. But what caught my attention I mean, my radar came up as soon as they met Isa Islam, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Because as you know, as a Roman Catholic, he was, he was our king, our God, our everything, you know. When they started talking about him, I said, what do you know about Jesus Christ? You know, like, what do you mean? He's, a, he's one of our beloved prophets. I said, excuse me? So the more they spoke, I kid you not, I'm like a kid like this, listening to my favorite show. I couldn't get away from it. I was so impressed and so convinced that Islam is the true religion. This was such on a high level of purity, of beauty, of understanding. I felt so free. I know now that Allah was bringing that peace into my heart. So that was my, my, uh, my shahada at a time. And the hidayah came at that time. So my intentions, I believe, were sincere because I know my personal connection. I know the tears I shared with Allah. I know that I feel guilty and stuff like that. So do I believe Allah will forgive me? Yes. If I don't believe that, then what am I following? My God is a merciful God. He's a loving God. He's a forgiving God. Meninggalkan sejarah gelap di belakang, Vince mengorak langkah baru dalam kehidupan dengan menghargai setiap detik waktu bersama ibunya. First of all, my full-time job is my mum, you know. She uh, needs 24-hour care. Now, she can't walk at all, dying of stage 4 cancer. Please make dua for her. So I'm a personal trainer, especially with self-defense. I love my little lions that live at this residence. I try to teach them self-defense, confidence, humility, and self-respect. Not just for themselves, but for all the kids. Pengalaman hidupnya telah mengajar bagaimana penindasan memberi kesan besar dalam kehidupan seseorang. Melihat perjuangan PPIM dalam membela nasib masyarakat telah membuka matanya untuk menyokong bersama misi yang dibawa PPIM. I've been through my life 
When you borrow money from a loan shark, remember that this will affect you, your family, your business, and everything to the point of brink of suicide. Until I came to Malaysia and I've come across people that I thought were people that I look up to, you know? And that's Zaref Johor's father. Until you hear the things that he stands for, and they're not just words of emptiness, you know? He backs it up. He's doing this for the people and for the community. But he's out there fighting every single day, all day long, for the better of the Muslim community. Not just the Muslims, but for the people of Malaysia. It's an amazing organization. And I'll tell you something. First and foremost, he does everything to please Allah. Do you see the things that he stands for? He protects people from gangsters, from criminals, from hardship. His organization doesn't abandon him. You know, and I'm blessed to be part of it as well. Malaysia, community of Malaysia, Muslims, listen carefully. With everything that's happening around, do you want a hero that goes into the front line? Or a hero that talks, goes into the back line and pushes everyone else in the front line? Who do you want? I want a hero that stands in the front line for his people. He's the person in the front line. This is the man, this is the organization.